and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today. Today we are going to be touring a lovely kid court island called Teespring and Teespring was created by Honey Horizons and I will link all of her social media down below, her Instagram and Twitter. I'm so excited to be touring a kid court island today. This is the first kid court island I've ever toured here on my channel and I'm so excited for it. I'm already looking at this gorgeous flag for Teespring, which looks like a stamp. Um, and this island features a lot of primary colors, so we are going to be seeing a ton of red, yellow, and blue on this island today. So I am so excited for that. Before I get too carried away already, let's have a look at the map for Teespring. So this is Honey, um, her character, and then her villagers are Henry, Stitches, Joey, Bunny, Dom, Plucky, Stella, Marshall, and Marty. So she actually doesn't have the full 10 um, villagers that you can have on your island, which I think is actually so, so cool. Um, and she does kind of have them scattered about the map as well. The villagers that she's chosen for this island could not be more perfect for a kid core island. This is so exciting. I also noticed that there's a lot of very intricate looking pathing. Um, so I'm very excited to see what that is all about. So I did notice um, that there are some presents here. Oh my gosh. Gosh, there are a ton of presents here for us oh my goodness and perfect red wrapping paper as well this is just so cute already I love that little bear design underneath the mushroom to my right that is too cute and holy cow this is so many presents so before I open the presents, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Sam, um, who is a subscriber here on my channel and who was kind enough to bring me this tree sweater. You are so thoughtful and so sweet. I was talking about how much I really wanted this after my last um, island tour. So thank you so much, Sam. You are so kind. So let's open all of these presents and see what we've got here. We have a bear cap. I'm guessing that we'll probably have some outfit choices. I could be wrong though. Okay, so yes, I'm thinking we do. Maybe I should just quickly open everything and then we'll sort of go from there. Okay, so we have a lot of different clothing choices here. I think these are the sandals that I came. We have some rubber toe sneakers which are blue, the, oh, that's my same tree sweater, some leather ankle boots, denim cutoffs, that's super cute. I'm guessing that that probably goes with the bear cap, if I could guess, and then we have a front tie tee. Okay, so this looks pretty cute together, and then we'll try on a different outfit. This is so fun. Um, Maybe the giant ribbon, oh, that's cute starry tank oh my goodness what does the pullover jacket look like oh i like that that's my one of my favorites what is the kid's smock oh that's super cute too also please excuse pizza cat he's having a particularly vocal day today he's very excited for kid court island he has a lot to say about it um and so you'll have to excuse um any little meows that you hear throughout this video let's put that um pullover jacket back on and I don't want to spend forever picking out an outfit, but we'll go with this. And I won't hold the balloon the entire time, but this is too cute. I automatically fit in so well with this primary color theme. Adorable. All right, so look at these custom designs that she's using. This little okay and the gnome. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed already. Okay, before I get too far, yet again, I'll meet you over at the airport. Okay, so here we are at the airport for Teespring. We have that lovely stamp flag again, and then we are automatically greeted by this absolute bomb of color here. It's amazing. I love these mushroom items as well and the Mario items. Look at this little suit sprite that we have here. I'm obsessed. If you've seen any of my speed builds, you'll know that I absolutely love all the Studio Ghibli movies, so it's always exciting to me when I see little odes to those movies, like the suit sprite. Then we have this really cute little shoe design over here and this honey pot. This is stunning. 
Oh my goodness. I've actually never seen anyone um, really use the blue steel staircase very much. I saw recently that console Kato actually did it on her most recent island. Um, if you haven't seen her island, you should definitely go check it out. It's gorgeous. Um, but aside from that, I really haven't used it, um, seen it used very much. So this looks absolutely amazing and it's just inspiring to see so many different items being used here. I love this custom design right here um, with the question mark and exclamation point. That is so cute. I just can't even get over this. There are so many adorable details. Like it's, it's just a lot to take in all at once. Even the way that she has decorated the cliff up at the top is so amazing. I love the little house and the mini train track up there. It is just too cute. And then immediately when we enter, we do have this little train track path leading us to the right. And then we have this beautiful land bridge here. The view over this land bridge is incredible. Holy cow. Look at that. There's just so much going on. I love the pathing here on the bridge as well. And it looks so amazing with the blue iron um, fencing. So then we'll go along this little train track here. We have another little jam. Um, custom design is so cute and this colorful little tent it's so much fun to see all of the items in color variations that I would never really use just based on the kinds of islands I've created so far so this is so fun to see and then this was the path that we were originally on when we woke up from our dream I love this path as well here the colors are just amazing and it looks like we can skinny through here and we have some little houses here. I love the bunny day balloons that are up um, kind of on that cliff behind the homes. And then this little train track here is so cute. And we have a little sitting area where you can wait for the train to come. How adorable is that? Also, side note, it totally bothers me when my character doesn't sit in the middle of the chair. Has anybody else noticed that with this like particular bench, the public bench, that like, what? Why am I not sitting in the middle of the chair? I don't know. I'm so sorry if you haven't noticed that before and I just pointed it out to you and now it's bothering you. Um, we'll move on. <laughs> so I love this little Totoro here. He is so cute. I've been really wanting to use more of the Studio Ghibli designs. And then we have a very simple beach. I really like how she's put this empty can out on the beach. You know, it's an unfortunate reality that a lot of our beaches and just nature in general has a lot of trash. Um, so it's kind of a realistic um, yet sad reminder of that. And then we have this overgrown little um, playground here on the beach, which is too cute. These flowers, I have never seen these before. Did these come with the Mario update? You guys will have to let me know. That is too cute though, and I love this little detail, how it pops out. So cute. This customization of the tire stack as well, I've never been able to use that. It just looks so cute on this island. And then whose house do we have? We have Stitch's house. So Stitch's gets to be by the train and all of these shops, and of course, they get their own little playground. That is so cute. So I'm not really sure if I'm going the right way. Um, I'm just kind of wandering right now, so hopefully we don't get too lost. I love this little banana custom design here tucked behind this tree. That is too cute. And then we have some Mario items here. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, this kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of like sort of a nebula, almost like space-like um, path here. It looks so cool. And this is going to lead us to the right of resident services, which is good because it makes, means that we're not missing anything. I love this little apple area here. The way that she's used, I think that's the Apple TV and she's just kind of turned it so that it's facing in. That is so cute. And then the red customization on the tire toys. Are you kidding me? This is so creative. So I will keep wandering up here and we'll have a look at Able Sisters. Able Sisters is perfect for this island. I love the way that she has brought out already it's red, yellow, and um, blue. So it already fits perfectly. But I like how she's accented that with the tent um, and the gumballs on the side. 
The we are open sign is just amazing here. And those lockers off to the side, this is so cute. We even have a little like parking lot for the tricycles. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna keep, I did see that incline there, but I just kind of wanna keep wandering. Oh my gosh, we have a little school. I'm so excited. I need to go get closer to that. And these little rain boots here. I am so sorry, you guys. I'm getting so excited. I need to like take a drink of water and calm myself. But this is just so inspiring to me. Look at these little patches here. Oh my gosh. So cute. And then I wanted to see whose house this was. Stella's house. Stella has an absolutely adorable house. This house would be absolutely perfect on a fairy court island or kind of like an enchanted theme. I love it. I love all of the use of the tire toys here. And then this little rope design. That is so cool. And then we have a little like railway or a little car here. Oh my gosh. I love how she's filled in this area with the flowers and custom designs as well. I always get so stuck um, if I can't use a lot of terraforming. And I like how open this area is. It still feels very full. Love this ladybug custom design. And we have a little picnic area here. Oh my gosh. Here is the classroom. This is too cute. Oh my gosh. I like the little outfit for the teacher. This is adorable. And then we have these little shops or like, not shops. I think it's just a building um, behind the school. It's so cute. I love the custom designs on these panels. They're just so colorful and cute. And we have Miss Stella herself here coming to check out what we're doing. The little suit sprite detail with the um, star fragment, absolute perfection. Even the use of these little outhouses here, like, are you serious? I would never think to use them and they just look so cute here. Then we have another steel staircase. I love the red one. I think that's my favorite of the steel staircases, but it's another one of those inclines that I just don't think to use very often and it looks gorgeous here on this island. And then look at this little book custom design here. It looks like that's Joey. Oh my gosh, <laughs> on the book. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, and then we have Blathers in his tent. Oh my goodness, I love Blathers' tent so much. I know people rave about it all the time, but I'll definitely be leaving Blathers in his tent for Foxgrove, and I just think it's so cute and so charming with all the little details on the side, and it looks so cute here, the way that she's decorated around it. I love the red lighthouse all these little toys and these costume designs are just amazing look at this little sock detail over here and then oh we have like a blueberry jam design underneath that piece of fencing those ones are so cute oh what design do we have over here it's kind of oh it's the question mark exclamation point and we also have a little sunken waterfall area here let's see if we can get a bigger view that is gorgeous i love the little duck detail and the butterfly models and then having the items on the tops of the cliff the star and the doll um, and the little teacup they just add such a whimsical touch to this area i love it and then we have this overgrown little soccer field here too cute I was thinking about doing something like this on my island as well, and I just think it looks so precious, especially with the weeds and the flowers kind of growing over it. I love that. And then right now we're behind Nook's Cranny. We can follow this tiny little path around to Able Sisters. Oh my gosh, the custom design outfits that she put out. Look at the little elephant on this design. And we have some red rain boots here, which is just perfect color coordination with Able Sisters. I love it. And we have a little tent area here, and this was the incline that we had skipped before. Wow, the flow on this island is so amazing. Absolutely incredible. 
I love this silo kind of tucked into the trees here. We have a little overgrown moment. And then she's used the vertical fencing off to the side, which I have developed a new obsession for that particular fence. This is amazing. I'm just obsessed with all the pathing and designs on this island. I cannot get enough of it. Like, look at this apple design on this little picnic area. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. So we have a little orchard area. Let's see whose house we have here. Oops, can I see? Oh yeah, Bunny's house. Bunny has a very cute house exterior. I really like that sort of burnt orange color for the roof. And then we have such a whimsical little mushroom garden here. I like that she's used the mushroom stool and the partition and even um, the mushroom umbrella as well. I think the variation looks very cool there. We have a little apple design on this table, which is so cute. I like how she's accented the red um, of the apple trees with some yellow flowers as well. That's a really nice touch here. And this little red jam design, so cute. Oh my gosh, this is just perfection. And then to the left of that house, we have this little stand here. I like how she's used the doll here in the red shirt. This is so cute. It looks like a, maybe a little cafe area. Oh my gosh, look at these tables with the diner seats. Get out. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it. Even the red um, vending machine is adorable there and just absolutely perfect. Ooh, the colors on this path are so cute. I love that. And then this is actually going to take us across that land bridge that we saw from the beginning of the tour. This land bridge is gorgeous. I love the little sitting area and the balloon off to the right there. The flow of this island has been just incredible. I feel like I'm very naturally sort of um, wandering around and I don't feel lost or like I'm missing anything. It's just perfect. This is so much fun. Holy cow, look at this little city area here. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. Oops, that is amazing. I had to take a picture of that because that is just beautiful. It's so colorful, I love that. Maybe we should look at the view from the bridge. Holy cow, that is amazing. I will have to go check out Honey Horizon's Instagram to see if um, she maybe had any wide angle photos done. I definitely think that that view would be amazing in a wide angle photo. <laughs> Pizza cat coming back. Oh, I love this custom design. So this is her house and it looks like a little tree house. This is so cute. It looks like we have a little ladder going up, but this vine um, custom design on those panels is really beautiful. I've never seen that before. And we have a pipe here, so I'm just gonna check out where this goes. Oh, and this takes us up into her tree house. What a cute idea. That really makes it feel like a real tree house. We have some little standees here. And we should say hi. Stay and play. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I love the cat hat. <laughs> the cat hat. That is so cute. This house is perfect. I love all of the Mario items surrounding and this pathing. I'm excited to see the interior. And here is the first room of the house. This is so fun. I love the little video game um, machines in the back. All the Mario items and this sailboat wallpaper is too cute. I like how she's used the red, yellow, and blue um, couches in here as well. This is adorable. I definitely would love to play in this room. Okay, so the big teddy bear is blocking that. 
this looks like it's blocked off as well this is a, such a creative way to block off the doorway like if you still want to give the look of there being another room here like this being a full house just blocking it off with like some smaller objects like some shoes or an umbrella is an amazing idea and honestly i hadn't even really noticed that the um like gaming machines back here were really blocking it just kind of fits so well on the wall there and then upstairs we have this incredible little bedroom i love all of the colors and the raincoats that she's put on the wall and all of the toys in here are too cute i like how she's kept the flooring and the wallpaper very minimal because there's a lot of color happening in this room um, and it looks so cute all right, so let's continue our tour down here. I love that little tree house. What a creative idea. And I love using the pipe as well to get up there. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. The way that she fills areas in with the flowers and custom designs, it just looks so whimsical and so perfect. And then we have just this like very overgrown area off to the side. I think while we're over here, I will go ahead and climb down and just have a look at this beach. Oops, maybe. This is just a very small little beach area over here, but I love the way that she's used the Mario items. I honestly never really think to use them. And then we have a very simple laundry area over here on the beach. More primary colors, which is awesome. Okay, and then down here we have another little playground area, it looks like, like a little park. I've never seen this version of the garden um, faucet. That is so cute here. And we just have a very natural place to sit. And some more um, of the buildings down here. This is so cute. Oh, and we're coming up on the campsite here. I love the way that she's used these colorful tents around the campsite. And then we have this really adorable little creek and the bridge just to the right of the campsite. A little picnic area, another Totoro. It looks like she's put the tent on a slice of bread. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh, like a slice of bread design. That is so creative. And then I love this little creek that we have running through here with some ladders. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. And then this is definitely Marshall's house. I don't even have to check. There is a little horse area over here with some hay. Just such a cute idea. And we'll wander up this incline here. And this is definitely Henry's house. I love Henry, he's so sweet. I have him on my wish list for Foxgrove right now. So hopefully we will be able to find him. This is adorable. And then it looks like we have another overlook here. This is so cute. I love the way that she's put the um, ladders out as well. And we have the star and the little gnomes at the top. This is so cute. What an amazing island. And then we have at Joey's house. We appropriately have a little rubber duck over here for Joey which is perfect for him. And just lots of very whimsical little touches here. Her cliff decorating is gorgeous. I love it so much. All right, and I'll wander down this incline. Wow, this custom design looks amazing with the Sanrio furniture. Oh my gosh, all of the yellow stall designs as well. It's just perfection. Marty is so lucky. How cute is this? And then he just has this little cafe right by his house. This is so cute. Even the yellow mushroom parasol looks perfect with his house. We have a little clawfoot bathtub here. And then Marty has his own little playground on the beach. Just so cute. Down here, we just had more kind of whimsical Mario themed, loosely Mario themed beach over here. What an amazing way to kind of fill up your beach space. It really does feel like an extension of the theme. I am obsessed with these jar designs. They just look so amazing on this island. And then we 
have a very cute little pier with this simple um, kind of rainbowy design, which looks so cute. And this is kind of the entrance to Marty's Cafe over here. I love the little yellow rain boots. And yeah, it does look like a piece of bread custom design. I think that's so cute. And look at this gorgeous little area here. This is so beautiful and natural. I love all the red, yellow, and blue flowers here. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna get smushed. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. So I think that we, yes, so we are to the left of the entrance. We've kind of gone full circle. This island feels so big. I can't believe that we've already explored the left side of the island. Like we have a whole other side of the island to go. That's amazing. So I did kind of go through this area again. So I'm just gonna speed on through and I'll see you guys in a second. So I'm over here by the peninsula and we have this gorgeous little house here. I'm actually not sure whose house this is. Ah, so this is Plucky's house. I really think she did an amazing job of fitting Plucky's house just over here on the peninsula. It doesn't necessarily fit with the theme, but it doesn't matter whatsoever. I think it looks so cute with all of these whimsical little touches near the home. Um, and it looks so cute over here on the peninsula. Her house is very rustic. I really like that dark green color. And I didn't even realize that we have actually seen the entire island. Like, it has just gone by so fast, and I was loving every single minute of it. Thank you so much to Honey Horizons for allowing me to tour Teespring today. I had so much fun exploring this Kidcore Island. Your designs are incredible. If you've made it this far in the video and you're enjoying yourself, which if you're still hanging out, I hope you're enjoying yourself, please do consider liking and subscribing and saying hello in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!